Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am going to show you the difference between lang flow versus flow wise versus vector shift. Lang flow, flow wise, and vector shift, these three are the powerful platforms that help integrate AI models and manage workflows. Each of these tools serves slightly different purposes, but they all aim to simplify the development of AI powered applications. So the overview of Langflow is that it is a workflow automation tool designed to work with Langchain, a framework for working with large language models. It focuses on streamlining the building and management of LLM powered applications through an intuitive graphical interface. With Langflow, developers and data scientists can build, deploy and manage workflows that integrate LLMS with other systems like databases, APIs and more. Key features of Langflow is that it provides a drag and drop interface that allows users to design workflows visually making it easier to manage LLM interactions. Langflow integrates seamlessly with Langchain enabling the creation of complex LLM pipelines. You can create reusable components and modules that can be shared and reused across different projects. It allows integrating APIs for richer interactions such as connecting to databases, third-party services and more. It offers monitoring and debugging tools for tracking the execution of workflows in real time. Some different use cases of Langflow is that AI-powered chatbots and personal assistants that require complex workflows and multiple API interactions. Data pipelines that use LLMS to process and transform data. Automated content generation for industries like media or e-commerce. And document processing with advanced NLP models. While the overview of Flowwise is that it is another low-code platform for building AI workflows, especially focused on LLMS and AI model integrations. Flowwise makes it easier for both developers and non-developers to create complex AI workflows with minimal coding. It allows users to connect different AI models, databases, APIs, and services through an intuitive graphical interface similar to Langflow. Key features of Flowwise is that a drag and drop editor that simplifies the creation of AI powered workflows. It supports integrations with various LLMS like GPT-3, GPT-4 and others allowing easy connection to AI models. Flowwise has built in integrations for working with APIs and external systems enhancing its flexibility is connecting data sources. Like Langflow, Flowwise is also open source allowing you to customize it according to your needs. Flowwise node-based system allows users to combine multiple processes, data transformation, API calls, etc. to create sophisticated workflows. It provides templates for common AI tasks, speeding up the development process. Some different use cases of Flowwise is that AI-based document processing, customer service automation, etc. and building complex chatbots that require multi-step logic and integration with external systems. It enables AI models to handle and search through large data sets by transforming data into vector representations, which allows for more accurate and contextually aware search results compared to traditional keyword based search. While the overview of vector shift is that it is a platform focused on vector search and retrieval systems using embeddings and semantic search techniques. Key features of vector shift are it enables fast and efficient search through large data sets by leveraging semantic search and embeddings. It works with a variety of models to generate embeddings, vector representation of text or data, improving search results relevance. It allows you to set up search pipelines that can automatically query and retrieve information based on the embeddings. It offers APIs for integrating vector search functionality into applications and can be integrated into ML workflows supporting the retrieval of relevant information based on context which is especially useful in recommendation systems, document retrieval etc. It designed for scalability making it ideal for large scale enterprise level search and retrieval systems. Different use cases of vector shift is that building AI powered search engines that provide more accurate results based on meaning rather than keywords. It is ideal for situations where you need to search across large collections of documents or knowledge bases. Power recommendation engines by finding similar items based on vector similarity. Enhancing data retrieval processes by embedding data and allowing more intuitive searches. Pricing plan of vector shift is custom pricing in which vector shift provides pricing based on the scale of usage and specific needs, especially for large scale search systems or enterprise level integrations. 
Subscription model likely to have a subscription model based on the number of queries embedding generated or API usage. Since it focuses on search and embeddings, pricing depends on the amount of data and the complexity of the systems you are building. And free trial, there may be free trial or limited usage plan to get started. So basically, this is the comparison between lang flow versus flow wise versus vector shift. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like on video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.